Thank you for watching, listening. Oof, we're having a fun time at Christmas time, <laughs> looking at this series as time relates to Christmas, Jesus' birth. So in this episode, we're gonna look at um, the anticipation and thinking about time, something to come to us. But before we do that, one, of course you need to subscribe because we have great content. And two, here is your amazing joke. So why was a candy cane so expensive? Because it was in mint condition. Oh, <laughs> I know, I know. So, but we're gonna get some content here. Maybe that'll help offset the joke because the content I think is really gonna be encouraging to you because we're looking at time and Christmas and how those come together. And there's this idea of anticipation. So when you were little, when you're a little kid, did you ever anticipate your gifts? You know, did you ever tell your parents, I want this and this and this? And did you ever get like, couldn't wait, you're so excited. I don't think I ever told my mom this maybe. So maybe I'm letting the cat out of the bag now. But I remember I knew that my parents hid the Christmas gifts in the um, guest closet. And so one year, I was so eager to find out what they got me that I snuck in and peeked and I learned, oh, they got me. Da, 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 da. But then I had to fake it at Christmas time when I opened the gift. I was like, oh, I'm so excited. But I had already known. So I kind of, you know, like cut my legs out, my own legs out and had to like pretend because the anticipation was too much. I couldn't, couldn't keep myself back. <laughs> You're like, that's stupid, Sarah. It is, I totally agree. However, let's get on to Jesus with anticipation, because you're like, where's Jesus in the midst of all this? Well, the anticipation comes in this uh, episode. It comes from Mary and Elizabeth. And I bring both of them to your attention because both of the women, Elizabeth, um, she was pregnant with John the Baptist. She couldn't have children, and her, her pregnancy was very miraculous. Um, so much so that her husband kind of doubted initially and then, you know, had a mute conversation with an angel. Um, and he was mute for the next nine months of Elizabeth's pregnancy. But when you're pregnant, there's an anticipation. And same for Mary. The angel spoke to Mary, said, you're going to get pregnant. The power of the Most High will overshadow you. Both of these ladies have very supernatural pregnancies. But there's this anticipation. Who's this little person going to be? Who is inside of me? Who's growing? What's happening? What's their personality going to be like? What's it going to be like to give birth? Never had, you know, <laughs> just all this anticipation. You're looking forward, you're anticipating, you're expecting, you're hoping, you don't know. It's kind of a, a surprise. And I think sometimes Jesus is surprising to us. We can anticipate Jesus' participation, contribution, involvement in our lives, but oftentimes Jesus shows up in ways, experiences, scenarios that we didn't necessarily foresee. And sometimes you, you might have anticipated Jesus doing something and he didn't do what you anticipated. And so sometimes that's difficult as well because then you're discouraged, disappointed, frustrated. Where'd you go? What happened? How come? All this stuff. But I think it's really important for us to maintain the anticipation of Jesus, looking forward to, looking for, anticipating, being eager. And as we anticipate Jesus' birth, that's what Christmas is all about. It helps us keep our focus on the reason for the season. So even though time sometimes can seem to be a delay or, or a discouragement, there's still this anticipation that comes with time that Jesus participates and is involved in our lives, even our daily living. So thank you for subscribing. Make sure you hit the notification bell right there. Keep you posted on new content. And here's a question I want you to answer now. Here in the comments, just answer this. What can you do in the next four days in anticipation of Jesus' birth? We have four days or whenever you're watching this, but you know, it's Thursday the 21st. So four days, we're coming into Christmas. What can you do in anticipation, preparation for Jesus' birth? Maybe a birthday cake, you think about that. Maybe some time that you would spend. Maybe, you know, lots of things. What can you do to prepare for Jesus' birth? Thanks so much for listening, watching. Catch you next week.